Let us learn about seriousness criteria for adverse events. Firstly, we need to understand that an adverse event can either be non-serious or serious adverse event. An adverse event is serious if it satisfies any of the following seriousness criteria. Important medical event. Hospitalization initial or prolonged. Congenital anomaly or birth defects. Disability or permanent damage. Life-threatening. Or even death. Besides these, there is one more seriousness criteria. That is, recommended by the US FDA. And it is, required intervention to prevent permanent impairment or damage devices. This means, report if you believe that medical or surgical intervention was necessary to prevent permanent impairment or damage. Now, we will learn about each of the seriousness criteria in detail. The first one is important medical event. These are adverse events that the physician or medical reviewer may consider serious based on his or her medical judgment. Besides, the European Medicines Agency also publishes the IME list every year that can be referred to hospitalization initial or prolonged. This pertains to an adverse event that results in hospitalization of the patient. At times, the adverse event may result in prolongation of the hospital stay. Sometimes, complications of adverse event in may be life-threatening. That is, when the patient was almost on the verge of dying. Many times, the adverse event may result in disability or permanent damage that affects the patient's mobility, the impairment, damage or disruption in the patient's body function or structure or physical activities and or quality of life. Congenital anomaly. At times, the medicine taken by the parents may lead to adverse event in an unborn child. These are congenital anomalies. We now come to the last seriousness criteria, which is death or fatality. A serious adverse event may rarely result in death of the patient taking the medicine. In such cases, we need to evaluate if autopsy has been performed so that the causal relationship with suspect drug can be established. To conclude, the different seriousness criteria include medically significant, hospitalization, disability, congenital anomaly, life-threatening, and death. Apart from these, the FDA recommends one more criteria, which is required intervention to prevent permanent damage. Feel free to contact us in case you have any questions. Also, please subscribe to our channels.